Hi, this is One Bad Idea here today, and today we're making Iron 3 Chloride. Warning, this experiment involves toxic chlorine gas and fire. I'm not responsible for any injuries from this experiment. Please proceed with extreme caution. To start for this, we're going to need chlorine gas, and for this I evolved it from the electrolysis of brine solution using two carbon electrodes. This took roughly about half an hour, and you can see that it produced chlorine gas, which I bottled in a jar, and hydrogen gas, which that I just let float freely off. And once I did that, I turned off the power and carefully took it out, putting the cap on the bottom and leaving a small amount of water in the bottom and turning it upside down so none of it could escape. Then what I did, when I was ready, I flipped it over and carefully unscrewed the cap, loosening it just so I could pull it off very quickly. Now I took my iron roll, which is my iron sample I'm doing, and took off the cap and heated it up in a candle. Now I stuck it into the jar and let it hang there, and as you can see, it didn't heat up very enough for this first one. So I reheated it again and stuck it back in there. This time it was able to take off, but it never really fully evolved, and I just got some iron oxide that evolved from when it was burning in the air. So, I took off the cap again, and pulled it out and heated it back up in some fire, this time heating it up very much on all sides until it was glowing red, took off the cap and very quickly stuck it in there. And almost immediately you can see the reddish brown um, gas coming off of it. This is the iron 3 chloride. And just let that burn in there and oxidize for a little while. This iron 3 chloride is very soluble in water, so when I was done, I just took the iron wool out carefully and uh, shook it in the water, and it all dissolved in there to create this acidic brown solution at the bottom of iron 3 chloride. These are the results here. You can see it at the very bottom after I cleaned the salt off the side of the jar. And there's still quite a bit of iron wool left uh, because there isn't very much chlorine that I used in this experiment. So once again, that was uh, one bad idea, and thank you.